Example two on page 409. Anna and Lee played soccer for the same number of hours one week. How many hours did Lee play on Sunday? So you can see the soccer schedule and you can see that Anna is playing both in the morning and the afternoon, um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Lee plays the same number of days, but he only plays, I guess, one time, I don't know. Um, but Anna's is divided up. But notice that her morning hours are all the same because they're all X. And her afternoon hours, we actually get the number of hours that she's playing. Whereas with Lee, we're getting a variety of information. He's either playing X number of hours or a certain number of hours or um, a number of hours multiplied by two and then a certain number of hours. So again, using the bar diagram showing the um, representation, Anna is the light blue and Lee is the dark blue. Again, up here, the clue is that they're talking about the same number of hours with two different people. So you have to have the bars the same length if they're going to be playing the same number of hours. So then what they did down here, you'll notice is that they took and combined like terms. So they put the four X's from Anna and then they combined the constants to get the four and eight tenths. And with Lee, they did the same thing and his constants combined to get four and eight tenths as well. So you'll notice that these would cancel each other out and the only thing we have left actually is this value right here, that X is equal to two and two tenths um, hours that Lee played. And down here you can see they do it um, using the distributive property for um, Anna because she is playing the exact same amount for four days. So this was the number of hours that she played in the morning and this was the number of hours that she played in the afternoon based on the chart over here. And then they multiplied that by four using the distributive property right here. And for Lee, they simply wrote down the quantities and then they combine and they solve the problem subtracting out X's from each side and they get that um, X is equal to two and two tenths. So Lee played soccer for two and two tenths hours on Sunday. And a way we could check this, of course, is by putting two and two tenths back in every place there's an X and adding those values up for Anna and seeing if we get the exact same amount for um, that Lee has. In other words, we're going to put two and two tenths in right here for X and we're going to put two and two tenths in right here for X and right here for X and see if the two are equal and they are. So that is an example of an equation with only one solution.